Cars and thousands more users have signed up to ride-sharing service Uber on its first day on the Sunshine Coast. It sent shockwaves through the taxi industry that's now in strategic meetings figuring out how to deal with the new competition. Today, our crews put both services to the test. Two ride-sharing services, one divided Sunshine Coast. Uber is here and challenging the transport industry. We, we signed up several hundred drivers here on the sunny coast. The indications are they've taken somewhere between 5 and 10% of the taxi market. Facilitated by an app, Uber is the new alternative to taxis taking the world by storm. It's here on the coast for the peak Christmas period. And what better way to find out than to put it to the test? Here we go. The click of a button and a few minutes later, we're on our way. From Marucci Surf Club to Alexandra Headland, testing which is the faster, cheaper option. Rowan Carf has been an Uber driver in Brisbane for a year. At the start of the year, I actually closed down a fitness business that I had, and this has been uh, able to keep me going. Pulling into our destination, six dollars, ten minutes, and twelve seconds later. Now to call a cab. Good, Good thank you. A driver Rod says the industry can be tough. That's all right, yeah. Pretty ordinary days, but you just get what you get. Ten minutes, fifty-two seconds later, at almost double the cost. Ten dollars not. We're back where we began. Some coast cabs, John LeBoyne admits, he can't compete on price, but that's because it's not a level playing field. Seven thousand dollars to register a taxi. These guys aren't paying seven thousand dollars. Regulation is the answer, and that's currently under review by the state government, which classes ride sharing as illegal. Drivers have been fined one point seven million dollars since August 2014. But regardless of which one you choose, it's service with a smile. Yeah, well, lovely day. Thanks so much, Georgie Chumley. We news.